I'm gonna attempt to fly my tiny plane with just two seats all the way to this beautiful Caribbean island. But the fuel capacity of my Cessna 150 is so small that a Prius can actually go farther on a single tank, which means we have very little room for error. Oh, no. Maybe I should have gone that other way. And what better way to get the most from this tiny plane than by taking my girlfriend along with me? Clear for takeoff. Yep, clear for takeoff, runway 28, Cessna 22318. Pressure's in the green, temperature's in the green. All right. We're off. But here's the thing. From Turks and Caicos, we don't have enough fuel to make it all the way to Punta Cana in the Dominican Republic. So first, we'll be headed to Puerto Plata to refuel. It's very bright. My sunglasses. Oh, shit, I dropped them. <laughs> there we go. And along the way, I'll tell you exactly how much it costs to fly a small plane internationally. From fuel, to parking, to the nine different charges they hit us with at customs. So this morning we were planning to get out super early at like 7 a.m. through Turks and Caicos, so it was like pouring rain, definitely was like a no-go. So we waited it out, and the conditions continue to improve, so we're, we're off now. We'll see what we're in for. Because we chose to fly under visual flight rules, we have tons of flexibility and can take off whenever we want. Unlike commercial airliners, who stick to strict schedules and fly under instrument flight rules. It's the tall clouds we don't like, right? Yep, and that's not bad. That's not like a big towering. It's not like that one. Yeah, that's a that's a bigger guy. Yeah. We should maybe not go up another thousand feet. Mm -hmm. Approach Cessna two two three. I think we're gonna level off at two thousand five hundred for now. Roger. Probably descend a little bit more. You gonna run out of like space? Space to keep going down. For over a hundred miles of this trip, Miami Cessna two two three one eight. Hello, Dr. We actually had no contact with ATC at all. I guess one thing that I don't like about not having a code right now is the fact that like no one's even gonna like, come looking for it. We just, we're just like you got the SOS. SOS. Yeah. SOS. My actual like biggest fear, right, if like when we crash, like if we crash, would not be like dying in the plane. It's just knowing or hoping that someone's coming. No, it's sharks. Really? <laughs> yeah. There's some rain out there over to the layoff. Yeah, it looks a little rainy over there, but this looks not bad. While we make our way to Puerto Plata, I'll fill you in on our costs up to this point. To leave Turks and Caicos this morning, we paid $556 for fuel, facility fees, and customs charges. But not all airports are that expensive. Let's see the damage in Puerto Plata. That's land out there, baby. Land ho. 13 miles out. This is a beast runway. It's two miles long almost. Holy cow. I actually don't have it in sight. Oh, I think I might actually. Start a slow descent here. Puerto Plata Tower, Cessna 22318, four mile left base, runway eight. Number 22318, Puerto Plata Tower, roger, runway eight. Really pretty. Yeah. Right at 75, and no reason to touch down early. We got a long taxi. Right at 65, add some power to get us a little closer to that taxiway. Okay, let's go ahead and put it down. Oh, oh nice. Will work. All right, we made it. Let's see what we're in for. At this stop, there was actually no charge for customs, and the majority of the cost was for our 10 gallons of fuel for the plane, along with very small parking and passenger fees, for a total of $115. And with that, we're on to the most difficult leg of the journey weather-wise. All right, MD, D, D, Punta Cana International. Our plan for the second leg of the trip, fly 165 miles to our final destination, Punta Cana. We avoided the bad weather during the first leg, but satellite images show even worse weather along this route. So let's see how it goes. Looks a little stormy over there, but our path looks good. That's what the satellite showed as well. So let's just get out of here. 318, Puerto Plata. Puerto Plata 318. Where is the famous, sir? We follow you over here. Oh my gosh, that is so cool. Well, you have a beautiful country. We love being here, and we're going to be back to Puerto Plata on the way home. Hey, yeah, that. Good to have you here. Thanks so much. Unbelievable. All right, full rich. Car beats cold, full power, pressure green, temperature green, airspeed alive. Wow. Really pretty, huh? Yeah. Should give him a little wave. <laughs> <laughs> He's probably just like, oh, sh the, <laughs> the resort we're trying to get to looks amazing, but I'm hoping we can make it through the weather and around the mountains so we don't have to turn back. Uh, that might be raining there. Go inland a little. I think it's going to be better to go north of these mountains rather than south, because that puts us more like west of the field where you said they had CB. I think I want to kind of stay where it's lower terrain. It's not smart to go that close to clouds and terrain if you get pushed down. Yeah. It's 340 feet of clearance on our current path. That's pretty close. That's way too close. Yeah. I kind of like to look at that more. Santo Domingo, Cessna 22318. November 22318, Santo Domingo. Yeah, any chance you could tell us the current weather at Punta Cana for 22318? Punta Cana Towers report Charlie Bravo to the west of the station. The ref is 
um, sky clear. Okay, Roger. Do you know how many miles to the west? Stand by for that information. That's clear. Is it number two two three one eight Santa Domingo? Santa Domingo three one eight. Charlie Bravo is located ten miles from the station. Roger, thank you very much. Santo Domingo Air Traffic Control reports clouds that could turn into thunderstorms just 10 miles from the airport. So we're going to have to find a path around the clouds to land safely. We got our gap. Yeah. We're going for it. Three, have you felt the insanity four, of our trip miles, yet? I'm just north, taking something this small this far. We did one, kind of have like a two, moment three, when we were sitting at customs and I was like, this is day four. Two, and I was like, we still have like 13 more days. Trip. That's just a long trip. It's pretty dark. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, maybe I should have gone that other way. Just trying to keep us as close to that. I'd rather be closer to the clouds than the uh, terrain. Than the ground? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we're probably 500 off the ground right now. That's some pretty hard rain. Yeah. Sorry, buddy. Niner, have a good day. I think I want to get back on that side, actually. That's so, yeah. I was hoping it would work to cut in there because it looked better from where we were, but I think thinking ahead, like, that's where more of that is going to be hanging out. Yeah, I think I see our path. You good? Yeah. That looks pretty bad. Yeah, that would really be, be not good Is to go through. Is that the convective through. stuff they're probably talking about? Yeah. Okay, having safely navigated around the weather, now we just need to get through some busy airspace to the airport. They're doing no flap on this guy for sure. Why? Cause... Gusty. Oh. Uh, November 22318, can I have a traffic Airbus 320 from Latin? It's about seven miles on final, report with the traffic in sight and follow us, number two. Hi, Roger, we'll report the traffic in sight and follow them at 22318. I got that guy, he's just touched down. So we'll go ahead and start to turn, join this downwind. Get blown big time that way. Little bumpy. Yeah. <laughs> big bump. All right, let's slow down a little though. Ooh, okay. A little sporty out here. I'll give it some speed and we'll Let's get down there even farther. Because this massive runway is almost two miles long, I'll fly down most of it and land near the taxiway at the end. Plus, that'll help keep some distance from the airliners right behind us. It's high still. Yeah, I don't want to like be in ground effect or be like able to get blown into the ground. Okay, now we can think about starting to put it down. Oh gosh. That'll work. That'll work. A little bit of a rough landing, but we made it to Punta Cana in one piece. Time to pack up and head to the resort.